Oh man, I love that scene so much. I I just love it how Elena puts Bogart in his place like that. I mean, I know he was just trying to protect her, but he had no right. And it, I just like that scene so much. So anyway, we're back with Sword of Mana, and uh, as you can see, we have a perspective switch here. We're with Elena now. Huh, who's this? Yeah, where are we? Oh, crap. You jerk. Why have you taken me prisoner here? Answer me, darn it! Well, she could, I mean... She might be, uh, since she's part of the Mana Clan, she might be like Colette from Tales of Symphonia. She sprouted a pair of wings. There might be some spoilers on that game, but... Sorry. Oh boy. I guess we're pretty far up. Yeah, <sighs> man. This guy really likes putting us into Xanadus gam gambits, doesn't he? It's not a cult, first of all. Don't talk down on us like that. Jeez. What do you mean? Then why have you taken Elena prisoner? To ask her to join you? That's foolish, and you know it. Yeah, really. What are you gonna do? Rape her? You look like a rapist, Julius, so that's the first thing that comes to mind when I look at you. Thank you. <laughs> You've overstepped your bounds! Yeah. So get the frick out of here. Marley, huh? Oh, that's who she is. Her name is Marley. I guess she's a servant of the realm or something. Oh boy. <laughs> is there anything to consider there, really, Dark Lord? Uh, okay. I'd like... Let's see. A mountain of money. I'd like... Something, a banquet that I'll remember for the rest of my life. And then I'll take three more wishes! No, no. Yeah, we want out of here. But uh, I don't think you can help us with that. Oh. Yeah, like I said, she's uh, probably servant of the realm. Hmm. Oh. She was around for uh, when Lord Grands was still around, and... Apparently when Lady Grands is still around. Whatever happened to her? Well, we'll learn more about her a little bit later. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's too bad about them. Huh. She's a walking encyclopedia, apparently. Okay, so now you have a bunch of options that you can choose from in order to uh, get some more insight on people in the game. So, I'm going to go through all of these. If you uh, honestly don't want to watch them, then... Just don't watch him, I guess. <laughs> okay, and we'll start with Duke. And we know most of the stuff about him from, you know, everything that we've done with him already, so... Oh, that was a window? Looked like a door to me. You never can tell what's a door and what's a window in these games. For some reason. Let's talk, to, talk about Consul Herman, then. Yeah, the Consul is a pretty important um, political standpoint, at least... Uh, before, you know, democracy and everything. At least I think so. My uh, memory of global uh, politics is a little bit uh, faint, because I haven't done anything on it since, like, 10th grade, so... Yeah, they definitely were unfairly punished. So what about you, Marley? Oh, she was born in Lorimar. A lot of towns we've been hearing about that we haven't been able to find yet, but we'll find all of them eventually. She came from old country to make new life. My Russian is terrible. Russian accent, that is. Oh, well, that was nice of her. Yeah. She seems like it. I mean, if she was able to take you in when you had no place to go. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, it seems like they kind of lost their senses towards the end there. Uh, let's talk about Lord Grandson. 
Yeah, we heard about him. And you know what the weird thing is, though, is that there's three Geminites. There's Grands and Bogard, but we never hear really about the third one. Well, I have a theory, but I'm not going to discuss it until probably the end of the game because it spoils so much about this game, so not even going to bother. Yeah, he could have been king after he killed Vandal, helped kill Vandal. Oh, so he uh, put off the idea of being a king and he became a douche. That's just great. Yes, I know, that's duchy. Or however you pronounce it, but I just felt like saying that. Yeah, yeah, he's a... Uh, I guess he's a pretty powerful bard. Then again, when you're in power like that, and you have the support of the people for killing Vandal, I guess so. Yeah. Hmm. But is that really... Um, does that really absolve him from the sins that he may have committed in getting through to Vandal? I don't really care, honestly, but it's just an introspective question. Whatever. Anyway, talk about Count Lee. Yeah, they seemed like pretty good friends when we saw them before. Oh, so his wife left Mavolia, and he uh, left to follow her. Huh. Oh, she died here. That's too bad. Lots of sad stories going on in this world, apparently. Let's talk about Vandal. The very reason why all of this is happening, really. Yeah. And it's uh, that whole, with technology comes ruin thing. You just can't have ancient, powerful technology in these games without it somehow causing the destruction of the world. Eh, whatever. Yeah, we heard about that. It's terrible. Oh, well, that was unexpected. I guess Sibba, um, I guess that's why Sibba has a connection in this whole crisis, because he originally trained either with Vandal or trained Vandal himself. I suppose he would train Vandal himself since he's several hundred years old. Why did they go into Sanctuary, though? That's kind of weird. Greed leads to grief, Vandal. Greed leads to grief. Yeah, really. That's why we have to stop Dark Lord, because he'll be like Vandal if he keeps this up, except the other side of the spectrum. Speaking of Dark Lord... Well, what do you think about him? You have a voice, you might as well say it. Yeah, to the people he trusts, like you, but... He hates the crap out of us. Hmm. Well, I wonder what those reasons are. Well, we'll find out a little bit more, I guess, later on. Let's talk about Julius now, because we haven't really learned much about him. This is pretty much the point in the game, I know I explained already, but this is pretty much the point in the game where they infer that Julius is Vandal's son, so... Huh. Well, that's weird. I wonder how th I wonder how that would work. Maybe Julius was uh, born in Lorimar or something like that, but... Why would he be a hero, and then be a villain. That's kind of weird. It's that whole face-heel turn thing. Huh. Well, we'll learn more about that when I get into my theory, but we're not going to learn about that for a long time, so... We'll get more details on it throughout the game, though. Let's talk about Ms. Isabella. Yeah, she seems like she wanted to go back to Mavolia with him. Well, that wasn't much about her, but there isn't really much to talk about for Isabella. Let's talk about this Gemma, because um, it's the Gemma Knights, obviously, but maybe the third Gemma Knight was, you know, Gemma. There was that third guy in the, um, in the intro, and uh, who do you think that could have been? Sibba? I don't think so. Huh. Apparently, they don't talk about the third guy anymore. That's weird. Yeah. Oh, well, we were hoping you'd give us a little bit more about them, but oh well. They seemed like good guys, I mean, from Bogart and Sibba. Alright, we're done with this now, so let's, uh... Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Yeah, there's no way out of this one. Yeah, we don't want you, uh, watching us all night, Marley. That would be kind of creepy. 
Will do. Good night. <sighs> this has got to be depressing. I mean, you're stuck in midair and there's no way to get out, and you don't know what happened to everybody else that was with you. Uh oh. I hope he's okay. Well, he is, we know for sure from the videos that I've been doing previous to this one, but. Nah. Whoa, what's going on now? I guess this is like the next day or something. 